Dequivalence is a condition where two tendons, which are at the wrist, they supply the actions of the thumb. They arise from the forearm and they move down, pass through a tunnel, uh, right at the wrist. They come out and they provide two actions of the thumb. Since the thumb is 40% of hand function, uh, when these two tendons are inflamed and they rub against each other when we move our thumb, movement of the thumbs become very painful. Usually this occurs when there's a lot of ringing activity being done or as in picking up a baby, usually in new mothers who have just delivered or fathers, just new fathers, and this condition can be easily addressed. What we do is we give them some ointment to apply, we give them a splint to wear, and of course some therapy is provided. If this fails to resolve the condition, a steroid injection may be given. And if that fails as well, then they may require a minor surgery to relieve the condition. After surgery, you should elevate your hand higher than your heart as often as possible to reduce the swelling. The wound should be clean and dry and do not wet your hand to allow proper healing. The stitches will be removed in about two weeks depending on the wound recovery. The usual treatment that we will do for decuvain includes hot or cold pack, ultrasound therapy, electrotherapy and some massage. However, there are certain cases that require personalised treatments. You should apply cold pack when the injury is new or when there is obvious swelling. Hot pack should be used if you have more stiffness or soreness. Each cold or hot pack session should last 10 to 15 minutes and there should be at least 2 hours gap between sessions. You should rest your affected thumb as much as possible. Avoid activities that involve strong grip and wrist movement. For example, ringing, squeezing cloth, hammering, and lifting heavy objects with your thumb. Once the pain reduces, you can try performing the opposition exercise. Bend your thumb gently towards the tip of your little finger. Stop at wherever you feel the pain or stretch. If you can touch the tip of your little finger, Progress slowly until you touch the base of your little finger. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or difficulties performing these exercises.